So, so with everyone, we're just testing out a new mic for the camera. So we're seeing how the audio is because one thing we've been lacking when we've been, we've been doing the videos in the office is the audio. So this may be the missing link now to make the production come across a lot better. And Connor has got a new lens, which he's recording on now. So it'd be very interesting to see what the audio and the new lens comes up with. So Connor, what's that lens? What's, what, what is it? It's a Sigma uh, 30mm. Yeah. And uh, with a 1.4 aperture. With a 1.4 aperture. Um, so that just lets you. See now it's so much brighter. Really? What's happened? What's happened since? So it's my birthday on Friday. And what happened on Friday? We had the photo shoot on Friday, didn't we? So we had the photo shoot on Friday and basically over the weekend, I have been, what's to do, just chilled out really on, on Saturday. But in the afternoon, um, Renata, the lady who took the photos from Bella Portraits. Uh, imaging was her name, was Bella it? Imaging. So when she emailed the images over, I had a good look at them and I uploaded a couple to Facebook and Insta. Just amazing what, um, what a professional photographer can do with the right, I know it's, you know, you can have, you can have a really expensive camera and not know how to operate it properly and you might as well just throw it away because it's too complicated. But it's those that the the flash, you know, it's like a, it was like a rubber device. What goes on top of the? Mm. So I guess that flash was pointing up, but it was then then it was like a lighthouse, wasn't it? Which which distributed the the light evenly around. And you know, when we film in here as well, when you've got the light on, these reflect, don't they? But what she did, she had those uh, flashes what went to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So these would just, they just look perfect. Okay. D did they, did, sh did you learn anything when she was here? Um, I mean, not always. You always learn yeah. something when there's someone who's uh, been doing it for 15 years or whatever. Is that how long she's been doing it? Um, I think she says like 12 years. Professionally. Yeah. But obviously, a bit more professionally. But it's good how she set up and, you know, and when she first came in, obviously, you know, you were a little bit nervous. I was a little bit funny because it's like getting someone in, you know, and she's taking pictures. But she's very, very good because she makes everyone feel at ease. And then when we all started to have a laugh and joking and messing around, the pics got better because everyone was a little bit more relaxed and um, they really work well. So once Hurling on Road is finished, we will get her around there to do a photo shoot. You know, because all our last videos, we've used them to death, haven't you? With, haven't we, with the, with the Tide Street and all the rest of them. So we, we're, we're due a, a really good promo video on a new project. So we hand the keys back to the client this week so hopefully we can still get in there uh, next week and take some pics and obviously we're going to present the client with a photo album of the project from start to finish so i think this afternoon if you go on vistaprint and f see if they can produce a it's like a lookbook isn't it yeah so maybe, I don't know, 12 to 24 pictures of the project from start to finish. And I'm sure I've seen them do kind of like scrapbook yeah. stuff. Yeah, scrapbook. So. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them that when the job's finished. So when the job's finished, I'm going to hand them over a lovely book with all the photographs from start to finish. And I'm going to get them a nice bottle of champagne and some flowers. Ooh. 
we start as we mean to carry on because they're gonna absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, I'm gonna crack on, do some work, and we'll give you another update uh, maybe tomorrow. See ya.